On an Ozark Mountain vacation in Missouri, Chicagoans Hugo and Mary Hershen and her sons Jack and Pete encountered a culture deeply rooted in Christian values. They also discovered a huge cave. The Hershens wanted a business where they could work together as a family. Running the tours of Marvel Cave near Branson, Missouri seemed to be the perfect fit and Hershen Family Entertainment was born. We really thought we were in the cave business. Uh, we leased a cave in 1950. Thousands lined up for a trip underground. The Hershens then decided to provide entertainment for patrons waiting in long lines and family members unable to take the tour. That's when they discovered their true calling. There had been an old town here at the entrance of the cave. So uh, we all thought it would be great to rebuild this old town. Recreating an 1880s mining town became their next project, complete with a town square and street performers. Silver Dollar City opened May 1, 1960. A publicist suggested giving silver dollars as change to park visitors. The Hershens hoped vacationers would pay for things at home with the memorable coins, and word would get out about the park. It worked, helping to bring in around 125,000 visitors that first season. Four times more people went to Silver Dollar City than ever came to Marble Cave. I'd like you to think that our family is really, really smart. We scratched our heads and said, we must be in the theme park business. Fifty years later, the park is still going strong. Two million guests now vacation at Silver Dollar City each year, greeted by dozens of craftsmen and women, musicians, award-winning shows, and all kinds of rides and attractions. The Hershens have 24 properties in nine states. Their parks reach across generational lines by preserving the past and staying on the cutting edge with thrill rides like the powder keg. Ah! The company has grown into the nation's largest family-owned theme park corporation, hosting more than 12 million guests annually. However, for the Hershens, it's more about principle than profit.